Hello, this is Dr. Andrew Guto. I am a hand surgeon in Palo Alto, California, and in this video I am going to discuss the options for minimally invasive office treatment of Dupuytren's contracture with needle aponeurotomy or injection of Xiaflex collagenase. I will also show examples of patients I have treated with these techniques. Dupuytren's contracture, also known as Palmer fibromatosis, is a non-cancerous disorder where thickening of the fascia or connective tissue of the palm and fingers cause nodules, cords, and sometimes contractures of the fingers. In its earliest stages, there are nodules in the palm, then there can be rope-like cords, and in more advanced stages, the cords bend the fingers toward the palm so that the fingers cannot be fully extended. This disorder is hereditary and most frequently occurs in individuals of Northern European descent. The disorder progresses slowly and is usually not painful. As this is a non-cancerous benign process, treatment is only needed when the nodules, cords, or contractures begin to interfere with the function and limit extension of the fingers, as you see here. As Dupuytren's is not a cancer, but rather a disorder of all of the cells which make up the fibrous connective tissue of the palmar fascia, excision of one area of Dupuytren's does not prevent growth in another area. Similarly, all patients are prone to recurrence of the disorder if enough years pass, whatever treatment is used. In addition to surgical treatment in the operating room, I perform both needle aponeurotomy and Xiaflex injection for in-office treatment of Dupuytren contracture. Needle aponeurotomy is an in-office procedure performed by using local anesthetic on the skin and then using 25 gauge needles to disrupt the thickened cords allowing the fingers to straighten. After this office procedure, the puncture sites are dressed with band-aids. Needle aponeurotomy was developed about two decades ago by Dr. Lemassou of Paris and has become increasingly used in the United States. When performed by an experienced hand surgeon, the risks of needle aponeurotomy are minor, including recurrence, skin tears, bleeding, superficial infection, passing out during the procedure, and a low risk of nerve injury resulting in loss of sensation. I recently reviewed my last 50 patients treated with this technique and they had no nerve injury, significant skin tears, or other complications. I have had recurrence or failure of complete release requiring revision or other treatment, however. Needle aponeurotomy is the simplest and fastest treatment for Dupuytren's with the least discomfort or pain of any of the options. As the cords have no nerve endings, although the patient will feel a pop as the cord is released, there is no other significant pain with the procedure. Here is this patient after release. Needle aponeurotomy is most effective in cases of contractures of the metacarpal phalangeal joint, the MCP joint or knuckle, and is less effective but can be used for contractures of the proximal interphalangeal joint, the pip joint or middle joint of the finger, as the pip joint often has fixed contractures that release of the cords do not allow to straighten out. I perform this procedure in the office with the patient sitting or lying down depending on the patient's preference. We use alcohol to cleanse the skin and xylocaine, a novocaine type agent to anesthetize the skin. We have had no infections following this procedure. After cleaning the skin, a local block of xylocaine is injected into the skin over the cord to be released. Then using a 25 gauge needle, the cord is released while tension is held on the patient's finger. Years of experience as a hand surgeon performing open surgery on the hand helped me to know where it is safe and where it is not safe to perform the needle release. Sometimes only a single spot of release is needed, but usually two to four spots are released. The patients have immediate motion and most do not experience much postoperative pain, although some have discomfort in the proximal interphalangeal joint, the pip joint, or middle joint of the finger if this joint has been stuck bent for a long time. The patients start on a motion and stretching program immediately after release and need to dress the puncture sites with antibiotic ointment and band-aids for a few days after the release. Xiaflex Clostridium histolyticum collagenase injection is a two-day office procedure where the core dissolving agent Clostridium histolyticum is injected on the first day into the cord and then on the next day, the finger is stretched in the office with the use of a local anesthetic injection. This collagenase is an old drug which has been repurposed by its manufacturer for this use. 
Zyaflex is approved for use in the United States by the Food and Drug Administration, although it is quite expensive, costing over $3,000 for a single dose. It is cost is covered by Medicare and by most insurances with pre-authorization. There is a small risk of tendon rupture from the injected agent, which dissolves not just the collagens of the cords, but can also dissolve the collagens of the tendons. There also can be allergic reactions to the agents and pain from the local response to the agent. With the manipulations to stretch the finger, there can be skin tears requiring suturing or dressings. This has occurred in about 10% of our patients. I have also had a few patients have pain requiring strong medications on the day of injection and a single patient who had a period of a temporary numbness from swelling. On the first day, the dissolving Zyaflex is injected into the cord. There is mild pain with this injection. The hand is rested overnight and then the patient returns to the office the next day for manipulation. It is common for the hand to be bruised and swollen on the day following the injection. Some patients have pain which require strong pain medication. Local allergic reaction and even some swelling of the arm and lymph nodes is not uncommon. On the second day, the hand is injected with a local anesthetic such as xylocaine to allow manipulation of the finger. Using gentle pressure, the finger is stretched until it straightens out. The patient may feel poppy as this is done. In some cases, the skin may tear requiring suturing of the skin. A splint is applied and exercise started the next day. The splint is used at night for several months to maintain extension. Zyaflex injection may be repeated if the finger is not fully straightened after the first injection. With our increasing experience with needle aponeurotomy and the use of Zyaflex injection, there are now effective, minimally invasive office procedures for the treatment of Dupuytren's disease. Although there are risks of complications from both the needle aponeurotomy and Zyaflex injection, an experienced hand surgeon can use these techniques to help most patients with Dupuytren's contracture get a more functional and straighter hand. For those who are not good candidates for either needle aponeurotomy or Zyaflex injection, a hand surgery can also perform the more traditional open surgery.